Welcome to another Shelly Savings video. In this video, for our savings or not, we're actually going to do it on pancakes. Why? Because today is Pancake Tuesday. So I thought, why not find out, is it cheaper to make your own pancakes with all your ingredients, or just to buy the shake mixes and cook it yourself, nice, quick and easy. So I've already gone through and I've taken a weight of the containers so then I can weigh them all and get to a, a measurement that I'll actually be able to price to find out which way will be cheaper to do our pancakes. Uh, I'm going to be doing four different mixes. So I'm going to do a homemade mix of normal pancakes, a homemade mix with buttermilk pancakes, and then over here I purchased just a generic store brand pancake mix which you can get in buttermilk for the same price. And then I got a buttermilk pancake mix and a brand label. Uh, so we can also test that out. Because we also want to know, do they taste any good? There's no point going cheap if it doesn't taste any good. So I thought the first thing we need to do is make some pancakes. So let's get started. Now today we're going to make these normal everyday pancakes. No special ingredients. Most of them are in the home. And I've used just normal cheap ingredients for these. So these pancakes will have two cups of self-raising flour one and three quarters cup of milk, a third a cup of caster sugar, and I'll be using two eggs from my lovely chickens. So let's get this mixed up while my little toaster uh, grill is heating up as I love to use this to do my pancakes as I find it doesn't get too hot and I get that lovely golden brown. So let's get mixing and make some pancakes. Now one of my hints when you are making a mix, be it a cake or a pancake mix, I should have used a bigger jug, when you go to adding your milk and your liquid, do it in small amounts, give it a mix, let it settle in before you keep adding more. Now with pancake mix, you will have a few little lumps at the end, it's not that big an issue, it's nice to leave them there, you don't want to over mix too much. I then like to leave my pancake mix just to rest for around 5 to 10 minutes. So while your pan's heating up. Now my pancake mix is done and my pan is ready to go. It's just a matter of pouring out our mix. and letting them cook. Now once you've got a few bubbles and you're getting a bit of a dry outside, I like to then flip them over. And as you can see, a beautiful brown colouring. Now we'll just cook the other side before we can serve. Okay, so I've left it another minute or two. You don't need to do the other side as much. And I now have my pancakes. So these are my home pancakes. As you can see, they're quite lovely and brown. They're a nice thick size. I'm quite happy with them, they look pretty lovely. Now I'm going to keep one aside so we can do looks between all of them at the end. And then I'm also going to serve one up. I serve this one up. And I have some of this beautiful honey that was given to me by an organic 
farmer who does honey. So I thought this would be the perfect time to have it. Of course, pear cake you can do of all types of mixtures, but I always love honey, my favourite. Time for the taste test. Just so you can have a look on the inside. Looks pretty good actually. We've got some honey. Not bad, I actually like it. I'm gonna have another piece. Not bad at all. So that's how easy it is to make homemade pancakes. But as you can see, it's not too hard to make homemade pancakes, just a few ingredients. Uh, at the end, I'll work out the price that it cost me for these pancakes. I'll keep one aside here so we can have a look and compare it to the other pancakes to make sure they all look lovely. Because as we know, it's not just about how cheap they are, but the taste and the look of your pancakes. So we'll put this one aside and we'll get started on the Coles pancake mix. Okay, so we've got the Coles pancake mix and uh, all we need to do is shake the bottle and loosen it a bit and add 350 ml of cold water. Usually they have a mark on here, I thought, but this one doesn't, so I have to get a jug. And then shake the bottle and then it should be ready. So I'll go get a jug and we'll get started. Okay, so I've got my 350 ml of water like I said, when you make the other pancake mix, I recommend not putting it all in at once. Okay, we've added all the water, so I guess now it's time to really shake it. Okay, so that's pretty shaped. I'm gonna just give it a minute or two of resting before I start cooking this batch. I will say this one's a lot more runnier than the homemade one, so it'd be interesting to see if I get a thickness with one of these pancakes, but I'll guess we'll find out. Okay, so we've left this for a while. We're all heated back up again. So let's pour some of these cold pancake mix. These ones are bubbled up much quicker than the last ones. Still have a lovely golden brown colour and I'll see if they rise now. Okay, so we've got them now turned over. They're nice and ready. Yeah. Beautiful. There's a nice brown colour under there if you can see that. Is that across? Okay, so these are our pancakes that we've done from the cold meat. The way I can see is I pick up one that I made before. The ones I did do at home do come up a nice darker brown, but hey, as long as it tastes good. They're not as thick, but let's give one a try. Fluffy on the inside. I'll be truthful, they're not that fantastic. They're pancakes, but they're a little rubbery. Probably because they're so thin, you never want really thin pancakes. You do kind of want them to be a little thick. Unless you're making crepes, but these aren't crepes. Um, so I'll say taste-wise, um, Five out of ten. So we'll put those aside. I don't think I'll have any more of those. And we'll get started. I think this time we'll make the, uh, this is greens I picked up, buttermilk pancake mix. And we'll see how that one comes out. Okay, so we've got ourselves set up. I've got the greens mix here. Now, 
This time I don't need to uh, use a jug if I don't want to. There's actually a water line on this one that I can just fill up to. However, I think I'm just going to add the amount it says so that way I can guarantee that I've used the right amount so we can get the proper taste on this one. So I'll get some water and then we'll get started. Okay, I've got my 330 mils for this one. I will say this mix looks a bit more finer than the coals. So shake for a minute. shape mix. These ones are actually puffing up a bit better than the, the Coles ones, so hopefully this will be nice and fluffy on the inside and um, taste a bit better. I do find they tend to stick to the pan a bit more though. Okay, so again they're not as brown. But we'll compare them to the buttermilk pancakes we make, just in case that's different. But again, give you an idea, here was our, our first one, and you're different brown. So of course we need a, a taste. It looks okay on the inside. Kind of the same as the Coles mix, it tastes a bit rubbery. Kind of like it doesn't rise as well or you know, nice and fluffy. I've, I've, some of it's sticking to the top of my mouth. I think that's all I uh, agree. So again, maybe a 5 out of 10, maybe a good topping on it, I'd enjoy that. Uh, I have to say so far I'm enjoying my homemade ones, not because I'm a fantastic cook, but they actually do taste the best so far. So, I'll get set up and we can make our buttermilk pancakes. Okay, so I've got all the ingredients together for our buttermilk pancakes and I've just got some dairy farmer's buttermilk. Now before you say, yeah, but if I make these I have to buy a healthier buttermilk, um, you can freeze buttermilk. Get an ice cube tray, put them in there, put them in the freezer and then you'll always have buttermilk for buttermilk pancakes. Now, this recipe is not as much as the first recipe. We're looking at one and a quarter cup of self-raising flour, a three, oh, one and a quarter cup of buttermilk, a quarter cup of caster sugar, a quarter cup of veggie oil, and an egg. So, we'll get started. We'll mix all these together. Again, one thing I noticed straight away to the other mixers is this one is thick. So I do wonder if maybe you add less liquid to the uh, shakers. Maybe they'll be a bit thicker and fluffier. I'm not sure. But I wanted to make every per direction so we could compare like to like. So now I'm going to leave this to sit for about five minutes or so and then we'll get baking our homemade buttermilk pancakes. Okay, so we've let our mix settle a bit. So it's time to get baking our homemade buttermilk pancakes. Oh, my, get a spoon for this one. Wow, it's definitely frothed up. Ooh, I'm kind of excited to have these ones. I don't normally make buttermilk pancakes. I'll get you a close up. So one of the differences I've already noticed is, like my first batch, these are very thick. However, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in my mix. The mix, oops, the mix is really airy and bubbly and it's like you can hear it. So I'm hoping this will make really nice fluffy buttermilk pancakes. I'm kind of excited. 
Now I'm starting to get some little air bubbles in there. It's been on there for a while. I can see drying around the edges. So I'm going to flip them because I think they're ready to be flipped. Oh yeah, nicely. Oh, that's lovely. And we've got a beautiful brown colouring. Oh, that looks yummy already. I can't wait to have some. Okay, so I've flipped my pancakes over. We'll just move it across. I've got my last plate ready. And like I said, this mix is just completely different from the last three. Now these guys should be ready to come off. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. And as you can see, I've already got a nice brown color. So obviously just because they're buttermilk doesn't mean that they'll be lighter. And I can't wait to try this one. Wow. I'll show you the inside, which is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It really looks lovely and fluffy, even nicer than my first one. So, oh, they're good. definitely the best out of all four of them, these homemade buttermilk pancakes. Oh my, if I had to give star ratings, this one's getting a 10 out of 10. Uh, wow, well, i got to have another piece, sorry. They are absolutely delicious and I'd like to let everyone know that down in the comments I will actually have the recipe for these buttermilk pancakes as well as my other homemade pancakes in case you want to try these at home and make your own. If you're planning a special day like Pancake Tuesday. I definitely make the buttermilk pancake. So let's now take a look at these and look at our costs and see which one works out the best. Okay, so now we have all of our pancakes here. Uh, this is our lovely buttermilk pancake. I still have the mix here. I'm actually going to cook the rest of the mix and uh, hope for the kids after school. Uh, this was my other homemade mix that I done. This is our Coles mix. And this is our green buttermilk mix. Now, as you can see, just on looks alone, your homemade mixes already look lovelier. They're also nice and thick, meaning that they'll hold and, and uh, keep your egg in. I'm not sure if you're able to see, but this gives you an idea. So, you want a nice, airy middle. And as you can see, the, I don't know if you can, this is the coals and the greens and it, it just I know it's very rubbery and none of the flavoring soaked through the pancake so just on taste alone I recommend doing homemade pancakes now for how much they cost let's find out what our savings or not is for pancakes now surprisingly enough homemade pancakes are the cheapest per 100 grams these pancakes will cost you 19 cents per 100 grams to make these pancakes. Uh, for your Coles pancakes, these pancakes are coming next. You're looking at 21 cents per 100 grams for these. Our third was our buttermilk pancakes that we made, mainly because of the cost of the buttermilk, which is dearer than standard milk. You're gonna be looking at 34 cents per pancake, but honestly, if you're after a Sunday brunch or some really nice pancakes, I would definitely go with the buttermilk pancakes. And last, your most expensive will be the brand name, this Greens mix, which these are buttermilk, but they have all different flavors for the same price. That's gonna cost you 46 cents per 100 grams per pancake. Now, it's much cheaper to go with your homemade pancake. Now, I'm not going to bore you with how I worked out all the figures. Instead, I'm going to put them all in the comments. So if you want to sit down, have a look at my comments, see how I came out with the price per 100 grams, have a look down below. I also have my recipes for these two down below as well. So you can try your own pancakes this weekend with the kids or uh, anyone you like. And uh, I recommend the buttermilk pancakes in case you're wondering. I really like those. Well, thank you for watching another Shelly Savings video, Savings or Not. Uh, if you really like my channel, why not subscribe? And then hit the little bell so you too can get a little notification when I put up my new videos. And thank you for watching Shelly Savings.
I gotta have some more buttermilk pancake. Sorry. <laughs>